In this video, we're going to demonstrate the issue of femoral impingement test to diagnose issue of femoral impingement syndrome. Enroll in our online course now. Link is in the video description. Hi and welcome back to PhysioTutors. Posterior hip pain remains a challenge for clinicians. The following graphic from a paper of Gomez Hoyos and colleagues in 2018 shows an overview about possible competing diagnoses. As you can see, differential diagnosis in the posterior lateral hip region is definitely not straightforward. In 1977, issue of femoral impingement, abbreviated as IFI, was first described by Johnson and still remains a disputed entity. Unlike femoral acetabular impingement that you know from the CAM and pincer deformity, IFI is an extra-articular form of impingement. Toriani and colleagues in 2009 defined the syndrome as a decrease in issue of femoral space between the lateral ischium and the minor trochanter and a decreased quadratus femoris space, again between the minor trochanter and the proximal hamstring tendons. Patients often complain about long stride walking pain. The pain is felt lateral to the ischium during the toe-off or pre-swing phase of gait with the hip in terminal extension, in which position the lesser trochanter rubs the lateral border of the ischium or the semimembranosus tendon origin. Some patients also complain about radiating pain down the ipsilateral leg, which could be elicited when the sciatic nerve becomes entrapped in the ischial femoral space. In the year 2016, Gomez Hoyos et al. evaluated the accuracy of the issue of femoral impingement test and found a sensitivity of 82% and a specificity of 85%. The gold standard they used was a combination of posterior hip pain, abnormal MRI findings including a reduced issue of femoral space or quadratus femoris space, and at least 60% pain relief after decompression surgery. This is the only study so far and it was done in a retrospective study design which might have missed patients who did not undergo injection or surgery. Additionally, the study did not determine intra or inter-observer reliability of this test. For all of those reasons, the clinical value of this test remains questionable for now. To perform the test, the patient is in sideline position on the unaffected side. The examiner palpates for the lateral ischium with one hand while the other hand brings the affected hip into maximal extension with the hip in a deduction or neutral position in an attempt to provoke symptoms. If familiar posterior hip pain is reproduced, the test is repeated with the hip in a deduction, which should not reproduce symptoms. This test is positive. If the familiar posterior hip pain is reproduced in the first position and cannot be reproduced in the second testing position. Alright, this is our video on the issue of femoral impingement test to diagnose IFI. Thanks a lot for watching and if you would like to learn more about posterior lateral hip pain in runners, keep an eye on our upcoming running rehab course with Benoit Matthew on our website study.physiotutors.com. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.